Hello there. No, really. Hello there. Let's start the video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, my vlog. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded one of these. In fact, I think the last one I uploaded was at the beginning of January, so apologies for such a long gap between uh, between uploads, but there's a good reason for it, and uh, that's a reason we'll get into uh, in a little bit. But firstly, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be back with all of you. I hope you're all keeping well, you're keeping happy and positive, your mental health and your physical health are all doing doing good, even in the, uh, in the current climate and the stuff going on out there at the moment. But yes, uh, we are back and we are vlogging again. And a few things have changed. You may have noticed that I've got a cool new toy uh, at the beginning of the video, which I spent adult money on. I'm not going to tell you how much, but it, it was too much adult money should know better by now. But hey, you know, what's it the kids say? YOLO? Yeah. Um, but I'm very happy with it. I've also got new hair, or rather it's the same hair but it's a very different colour. And uh, don't worry, I'm not having uh, a breakdown or some kind of midlife crisis because I don't think I'm old enough to have one of those yet anyway. Um, reason that I changed the hair, to be quite honest, was just because I fancy the change. I fancy doing something a bit different and uh, you know, I'm, I'm not somebody who's super vain or anything. I mean, you won't see me kind of walking around in designer designer t-shirts. Hell, I'm, I'm wearing the nerdiest of deep dive nerdy t-shirts today. If any of you know who this character is and what, what she's from, then, you know, kudos. 10 plus nerd points to you, my friend. But yeah, I, uh, I just changed it because I fancied uh, fancy something a bit different. And I'm actually quite pleased with how it looks as well. And that's the main thing, really. You don't do these things for anybody else, you just do them because it's something that you get a kick out of yourself, really. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so we we did take a bit of a break uh, from the vlogs. At the beginning of the year, I took a little bit of time just to reassess. I know that's a bit cliche and, and everybody kind of does that. They talk about New Year's resolutions and all the rest of it. Um, but I was just finding that with work and with my, my personal life, with, uh, with my friend groups and social life, that I was getting quite burnt out, um, kind of uploading, kind of a couple of times a week, and so I decided to uh, to actually copy a YouTube channel that I like uh, called How Ridiculous. They uh, they decided to take a month off just to just to renew their creative juices, I guess you'd call it, or just to take a bit of time for themselves and to think about what they want to do with their videos moving forward. And uh, and I've done the very same thing. So um, I'll explain a little bit as to as to what that looks like. So moving forward with the vlogs and also with the uh, with the live streaming that I do, I'm going to change a few things. Uh, the first is that I'm going to change the number of uploads I'm doing on a monthly basis for the vlog itself. Uh, I think there was a point um, last year where I was doing like six or seven uploads a month for the vlog and uh, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it, it was good because I was going through that stage where I was growing and learning how to do vlogs and finding what's good content and what is kind of mediocre content I guess. But for me, I want to make sure now that the stuff I'm putting out there and putting onto these vlogs is thought out and it's something that I've got time to to work on before I put out there. So I'm taking a step back, I'm going to do one or two a month rather than doing, you know, several a month. Um, the other reason that I'm taking a bit of a, a foot off the gas, if you like, on it is because I'm trying in my, in my own life and uh, kind of off camera stuff to, to take a, a step back and to to kind of remove a bit of hurry from my life because those of you who know me know that I am pretty intense like most people have kind of different gears I'm you know dial up to 11 the whole time and um, it's, it's great you know it works for me that's who I am and I, I'm not ashamed of that in any way shape or form but I'm also self-aware enough to know that because I'm quite energetic and uh, intense that it can be quite draining to do that sometimes as well and so, uh, in a lot of areas of my life at the moment, I'm trying to take a bit of a step back and just to kind of slow down and work on me a bit as well. I've been reading a book that my friend Jordan put me onto called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. I'll uh, just give you a little, little look at it here. And uh, if you uh, if you are a reader and you enjoy thinking about kind of the 
the more kind of philosophical elements of life, I guess, I would recommend that you uh, you pick up a copy or at the very least have a little look on Amazon and uh, it's only like 12 quid or something. It's worthwhile picking up. But I found that it's challenged um, my thinking in a few areas and it's part of the reason that I'm maybe changing uh, the way I do certain things, the videos being part of that. Uh, I will, I'll still, of course, be doing the video game streaming because I love that and it's no odds to me, you know, whether or not you guys see me playing video games, if that makes sense. So all it requires of me to do is to press one button and then you guys see what I see. So it's not like I have to premeditate much when I when I stream games, but the vlogs I like to have more of a purpose, and whether that's you know to challenge you know thinking or if it's to entertain, like we've done some unboxings on the channel before, we've done some poetry, we've done a bit of everything. So I want that stuff to be a bit more special and a bit more thought out, which is why you know I'm changing uh, the way I'm doing it a little bit. And this this video in itself is. Uh, it's kind of not as planned, it's a bit more spontaneous, so that you guys can just get my raw thoughts on it, and, uh, you know, we just kind of think about it together, I guess. But, yeah, for, for the foreseeable, that's going to be what we do on the channel, and uh, I'm going to try and, uh, over the next kind of weeks, plan out a few different videos which have got um, kind of a consistent theme through them as well. You'll see what I mean when we get there. But, yeah, it's, it's something that I'm still very passionate about and I really want to keep on doing. But I also want to change the way that I'm doing things so that they're better. Because, like I said, I don't want to be uploading for the sake of it. I want to put something out there that people enjoy and that they can really get something out of. Um, and it's part of the reason as well that I'm taking a step back is so that I can get something out of some stuff that I'm doing as well. Uh, I'm, like I say, I'm reading the book. I'm going through kind of a, a season for myself at the moment where I'm learning to slow down and discipline myself to be a bit more... Um, I guess to have a bit more downtime, and I know that sounds a bit of a weird kind of, almost sounds like the two things should be in opposition to each other, discipline and relaxation, um, but in reality it's like any habit, you have to learn and work on it to develop it and cultivate it and to, to build those good kind of routines and subroutines in your brain. And so at the moment, um, for me a big focus is taking uh, my days off from work, uh, that's right. Time, taking my days off from work um, as a time of rest rather than just as a time to do the 101 things that I need to do and, and to try and work out a way of balancing my life so that I can do the things I need to do but also have time to explore myself um, well that sounds very you know metaphysical doesn't it but to, to explore kind of my own spirituality and uh, my own personality to grow in certain areas and to maybe you know well adjusted and balanced I guess. I guess that's what we all want as people isn't it? We want to be you know happy and healthy both physically and mentally so in a nutshell yeah I think that's uh, that's kind of the thrust for the time being as to, as to where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'm still working my ass off at work and I'm loving it. It's the most rewarding job I've ever done bar none. Like guys I cannot tell you how much I'm loving it. Yesterday I took one of my guys, uh, we took him out for a socially distant walk through Central Park and it's just the most encouraging thing to, to see guys who have these, what most people would consider to be pretty serious um, physical and, and mental conditions and to see them achieving stuff that without, without you being there they wouldn't be able to achieve. It's, I don't want that to sound egotistical at all, it's not intended to, but it's at the same point it's very um, encouraging to see that and just to watch these guys develop and, and work towards goal and achieve it and it's a very humbling position to be in to, to help them to do that so I'm absolutely freaking loving it and uh, with with my friend groups as well it's it's fantastic I uh, still meet with my small group once a week we're doing uh, doing a quiz night tomorrow night I'm doing a um, kind of a game show night I've actually got some some of the questions just behind me ready because I don't do things by half measures we've uh, we've even got little cards which um, I'm going to be using I'm uh, the quiz master and the host um, but yeah it's wonderful we're doing a lot of social stuff and just keeping each other upbeat and positive through through the really tough time that we're all still living in Covid is still a thing we're not at the end yet but we're getting there and hopefully soon there will be an announcement as to how we're getting getting out of lockdown number three but yeah I think you know a, a theme that I found this year even though we're we're kind of a month and a half in certainly a theme that I found for myself 
is just the importance of being kind to yourself and to uh, to take time to grow and not to rush things. I think one of the things the book has again I'm, I'm plugging the book because Jordan's been plugging the book at all of us and you know it's just habitual habitual plugging I guess but yeah uh, the uh, the ruthless elimination of Harry by John Mark Comer. Uh, one of the things that's been driving at is how in modern society we are absolutely drowned in uh, things that want our attention, things that are screaming for our undivided attention. It's like social media, you've got films and movies, you've got your friends, your family, work-life balance, all of it. And uh, it's so difficult to find a quiet space where you can actually just ignore all of the other crap that's going on focus just on you and um, I think you know for me at the moment that really resonates and that's something that I'm gonna be really focusing on through the next few months so yeah that's um that's the little update guys I hope uh, hope that wasn't too preachy or too boring for you but you know in the coming weeks we're gonna have some good content coming up I will be looking at doing some unboxing videos again because uh, they're a lot of fun to do and some other stuff but I hope you're all keeping well, and I hope you enjoy these these videos. If you've got any suggestions, again, of course, or anything you'd like to see me do, please comment below. Let me know what they are, and I'll, I'll have a look and see if we can incorporate it in some way. But uh, I won't ramble on any longer, so until next time, keep safe. Love you, bye.